All right, so cheers, everybody, or in French, Santé! Hello, everybody. Hope you guys are having a great day wherever you are. First of all, we want to thank our friends Mehdi and Claire for bringing over these delicious gourmet food from the northern part of France. Thank you so thank much. Thank you very Merci much. Beaucoup. Let's get started with this gourmet international food hall. The first one is... Ta-da! Renette something something something. This is an apple wine, if I remember correctly. I remember Mehdi telling me about it and I can't quite remember. But I think this is some kind of apple wine alcohol concoction. This is like champagne. It, it has a cork in it. Whoa! Ooh. Look at that color! Okay, like I'm kind of surprised. Color. This wow. looks like apple juice. It looks like very deep colored apple juice. Like apple juice. Yeah. Look at that, it's beautiful. Um, so cheers everybody, or in French, Santé! Oh, I cold. Wow. Okay, this is definitely apple wine. Ooh. It has such a nice mm. sweet apple flavor. This is sweet wine. Apple taste, wow. I believe that Mehdi and Claire told us that this was an apple wine or aperitif. Mm. They drink it before uh, dinner, maybe. Now, why don't we have this in Japan? I love this. Mm. If alcohol tasted like this, I could drink alcohol every day. Ta-da! Beer. Thank you, Mehdi and Claire. <laughs> you made Satoshi a happy man. One is a beer brunch and one is a beer blonde. Okay, and what does that mean for American viewers? Mmm. I don't know. Pouring the Saint Real Beer Blanche Surly. Whoops. Whoa. Look how white that is. Oh, right. I am shocked at how white it is. Whoa. I don't think I've seen such a white beer. Mm. Sorry about all the foam. <laughs> I poured it really terribly. But it's beautiful. Wow. We have this much <laughs> beer and we have like three fourths foam. So we have to wait for a while. <laughs> Alright, we'll wait we'll wait for a while and I'll try it again with the next beer. And this is the beer blanc sur lit. Let's see if I can pour this one properly. Oh, okay, now oh. this is the familiar color mm, of yes, beer yes, yes. that I'm used to seeing. A little cloudy. Oh, mm. I see. It is. You're right. Wow. And these beers, I believe, are also from somewhere in the northern part of France. Mm. Okay, Sante. Come fight. Cheers. Mmm. Umaigore. Really? Mmm. Oh. But, that's good. That's good. Really? Wow, you see. <laughs> delicious. Really? Very delicious. I don't think I've ever seen you get so excited over beer. Oh. Then try this one. Yes. yes, this one's actually really good too. But I'm not a beer drinker, so I, I can't really judge. Mm. This is good too. Uh, this is more familiar taste mm. for us. Mm. Mm. This is lighter. Okay. But tastes like well, really fruit. Oh. Mm. So which one do you like better? The blanche or the blonde? Do I have to choose one? Why, well, if you were to choose one? Oh my god, it's difficult. No, you have to choose one. Like if you were at a bar and you had to choose one, you had to order just one, or you only had enough money to order one beer, which one would you order? In summer, I choose this white one. Okay. And other season, I choose this. Oh, okay. Wow, that's a safe answer. Now we're finally going to the food. Uh, the first thing we have here is something called a Raffolette, and this is ma confiture du lait, and this is, I believe, a milk jam. Also made milk in jam. northern France. Milk it, jam. Milk jam. It looks like a Nutella. Really? Colors. To me, it looks like caramel. So today we put this uh, milk jam on a piece of baguette, and we're gonna try it like this. Mm. Mm. Wow. Mm. It's so rich. Mm. Milk. Mm. Yes, it's milk. You know, you know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of dolce de leche. So milky. Mm. Between um, condensed milk and 
caramel. Mm. Next one is a Sabre Shampoo Noir from Fostier. Mm. Yeah, Fostier is a very old company uh -huh. from 1756. Wow. Wow. So wow. they've been in business more than, for more than really long time. More than two centuries. Wow. Oh, That's wow. a long time. Look, it looks like a little milk bottle. I see. I see. Yeah. Mm. I'm not sure if that's what it's supposed to be. And it's chocolate covered in the, the other side. Oh. Hmm. It's a lot more complex than it actually tastes. Mm. It's very simple in taste, but it's a little complex as well. I taste something. It doesn't taste like a normal biscuit. Mm. Totally different biscuit. Oh. Is this a champagne? Because champagne. on the box, this is champagne. Oh, almond, oh, almond and, and champagne. champagne. Fortunately, there's an English ingredient list, and it does list almond and champagne. No wonder it tasted, you know, complex. It didn't taste like a regular mm. biscuit. Mm. Well, the next thing on the list is La Mer Poulade, and this is these are galettes. Oh, the Mont Saint Michel. Yeah, I, I believe this is um, made in Mont Saint Michel. I think, I think that's what they told us. And these are salted caramel biscuits. And um, these look really yummy. This is what the biscuit looks like. Oh, what is this picture? I think oh, that is uh, Mont Saint Michel. Oh, Mont Saint Michel! I, I believe oh. so. It looks like Mont Saint Michel. Oh, and that's one place I am. Dying to go. It's my dream to go to Mont Saint Michel. Yes, I want to go. Right? It's it looks like such a beautiful place. Yes, you have to go. You are up. Mm. Mm. Oh. The smell is beautiful. It smells like caramel. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm. You know this company, La, La Mer Poulard, has been in business since 1888. Oh, it has such a long history. Year. Yeah. It tastes like caramel. It tastes like butter. Perfectly crispy. A very rich flavor. I love these. I am in love with these biscuits. The next one, Betis de Cambrai. Mm. This was mistaken biscuit. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> uh, uh, Mehdi and Claire explained to us why it's called Betis de Cambrai. Betis means stupid mistake in French. These were made and they came out wrong, but they turned out to be popular and that's how they were born. This company has been in business since 1898. Oh, these are bonbons. These are candy. Candy. Interesting. Mm. Very interesting. Not biscuit. <laughs> not biscuit. Not biscuit. Did I say biscuit? I said. Oh, you said biscuit. <laughs> yeah. Mistaken biscuit. It's not a biscuit. No. It's candy. It's candy. Mistaken candy. Mistaken candy. All right. Hello. It's really nice. It's a white candy with a strip of amber or yellow. Mm. A little bit it's of milky flavor. candy. Minty. Oh, minty. Mm. Mint candy. Mm. Mm. Nice. Surprise. Mm. I, I did not expect this to be a mint candy. I wonder how. I mean, what? Why is this mistaken? I was just thinking <laughs> the same thing. How can somebody make such a fabulous mm. mistake? Mm. Delicious. These are a perfect ending to a meal. What was your favorite among the variety today? Really? You like this more than the beer? Interesting, I can't believe it. I like wine too. Yeah, I know that. Not only beer. But I thought you like beer more. This apple wine is amazing. It is though. I agree with you. I agree with you 100%. This is my favorite. I usually don't choose alcohol for my favorites. Um, if it was the non-alcohol one, I would choose this La Mer Poulot cookies. Mm -hmm. But this Renette apple wine is beyond amazing. Thank you, Mehdi and Claire, for sending Thank us you this very much. beautiful gourmet mm. food from the northern part of France. Thank you so much. We hope you come to visit Japan again real soon. Until then, please take care. And the rest of you, thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this fabulous spread of French food. Let us know what you thought in the comments down below, which one was your favorite. And if you enjoyed these international food hauls, check out our international food haul playlist by clicking on that I right up there. Thanks for watching and until next time, au revoir! Au revoir.